there ladies and gentlemen, this is Virgil Prime, and today I am here to talk to you about the Destiny 1.03 update. Uh, the good and the bad. Um, I don't have very much time, so I'm going to try to get right to it. Um, there was a lot, a lot in the changelog this week, and you should look at it. Uh, this isn't the weekly update. The weekly update is still coming. Um, and thank God, because there are a lot of problems with this 1.03 update that happened today. Um, it did add quite a few nice features, and you can see those in the change log. so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about them. What I want to talk about is what isn't in the change log. The Vault of Glass is crazy today. It is very crazy. Um, first thing we noticed when we were in the hard mode Vault of Glass, we started on the Gatekeeper checkpoint. We wanted to finish it up for the week. We hadn't beaten it, and we're not going to. Oh my goodness, has it gotten harder. Um, your weapons aren't doing as much damage. This actually isn't limited to the Vault of Glass, but this affects all of the weapons across Exotic and Legendary. Some people seem to be mentioning that the last word hasn't been affected, but I noticed it has been, so um, that's been a little strange. There are both screenshots showing that it hasn't been affected, as well as screenshots showing that it has. So some people's weapons were affected and some weren't? That's crazy. Um... You won't only be doing less damage with your weapons, but also with the Aegis Shield. Um, its smash attack is no longer able to kill a Hobgoblin in one hit, so if you end up getting teleported through that left gate, you're going to get shot to pieces, almost guaranteed. Uh, on the right gate, however, um, not much better. The Praetorian, or the uh, Minotaur, I can't remember which, on that side, took a Galahorn, two truth rockets, and the explosion attack with the shield before it died. That's insane. No minor enemy in the game should be able to take that much damage, but as it appears that all of our weapons have been nerfed, I can see it happening. You're about to see just how much damage uh, this sniper rifle is going to do to the gatekeeper, not nearly as much as it used to. Um, we're chatting away right now, so that'll be in a couple of moments. But, um, aside from that, uh, if you are fighting the the gatekeepers like we are now, and you let one of the Praetorians take a plate, be prepared to die, because the oracles, despite whether or not you actually kill the oracles before they set off their, their mark, you're still going to get marked. You're probably going to die. Um, we tested this two or three different times, killed the oracles, um, it takes a lot more ammunition than it used to, so it is very difficult, and not long after we destroyed the oracle, we would get marked and then die anyways. Um, there have been reports of people not getting their items from the glass vault today, although that is not from anyone in our clan, so I can't really say that with any certainty. Um, what I know, do know is that we had some strange issues today with certain people getting stuff and certain people not getting stuff, regardless of whether or not they'd actually been through the Vault of Glass on hard mode this week. So, um, there might be some issues there. Uh, and there have been other various bug reports involving the Vault of Glass. But as I mentioned, the damage nerfing seems to affect almost every weapon. Um, uh... Deej has come out and said on uh, the Bungie.net forums that this was an accident, that this was not meant to happen, and that it'll probably be addressed tomorrow in the weekly update. <sighs> if only, if only. Um, because he also said that they were going to fix the Vex Mythoclast, which was nerfed by half, not one-third of its damage. And he also said that they were going to buff, or somebody said, I, I, I can't say if it was Deej because this is here, or this is third person. Um, but somebody said that they were going to buff Thorn and Bad Juju, and that never happened. So I, I don't really actually hold out any hope at this point that those things are going to get fixed, or that this is going to fix, especially considering that the Iron Banner is going to start up tomorrow. Um, I'd be very surprised if we had a flawless Iron Banner. So I'd be... I'd be much less surprised if these problems carried through at least part of, if not the entire Iron Banner week. Um, this is more than a little disappointing for me. Destiny is one of my favorite games, and it's by one of my favorite developers. Um, 
but I can't defend it. There have been too many problems with the Iron Banner opening up for a couple of hours, like, whoops, um, and that was a couple of weeks ago. With the Vex Mythoclast, basically they lied to us and said that it was nerfed by one-third of its damage when it was nerfed by half. The math shows that it was nerfed by half. Um, nerfing it at all was kind of silly, but, you know, I understand PvP. Those, those videos were pretty ridiculous, but I've gone similar with heavy machine guns. Uh, it's a little different when it's a primary. I get that. But... <sighs> I'm I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay with these oops, oops, every month another oops, every week another oops. It's just getting a bit much, and it's very unfortunate. I really don't want to hear any more apologies from Bungie. I want to see them actually maybe test some of their updates before they release them. Um, maybe know what in the world they're putting out into their, their five-year, half-a-billion-dollar game. Um... So anyways, uh, I hope things get fixed tomorrow, but I doubt they will. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'm going to be covering this issue and covering uh, if it, it gets fixed or not over the next few days. So if you want to see more of this, like, comment, and subscribe. And from the bottom of my heart, have a wonderful day.